What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use Alien Vault OSIM. This is free IDS, intrusion detection system, and it can be used in your environment to track your network for suspicious activities and find system vulnerabilities. We need to open our internet browser and we need to go to this website and I will put link in the description below. And now we need to click on download Alien Vault OSIM ISO. Click on it. And right here, save this file. While it's downloading, we need to go to Rufus. And I also will put link in the description below. We need to download this program. We'll use this program to create bootable flash drive. Just scroll down and click on Rufus. And I'm going to download portable version. I'm going to click on save file. Once the download is complete, you can navigate to your downloads or just run it from here. Now, plug in flash drive into your computer, the one that we're going to use to install Alien Vault on our computer, and double click on Rufus. And in here, we need to choose our flash drive. So, this is my flash drive. And then, right here, click on Select, navigate to your downloads, and choose Alien Vault OSIM, and then press Open. Leave everything as default and then press on start. At this screen, just press yes. And right here, leave everything as default and press OK. And then OK one more time. And now we just have to wait until it's going to create bootable flash drive. Once the process is done, we need to click on close here. And now we can eject our flash drive. Plug in your USB drive into your computer, start your computer up, and start up, press F12 to boot into the boot menu. And in here, we need to choose USB storage device and press enter. Right here, we need to choose install Alien Vault OSIM, press enter. Then right here, we need to choose our language, and then press continue, country, continue, keyboard, and then in here, I'm just going to choose no, then continue. I have two network interfaces on my computer. I'm going to choose top one, continue. And now we have to enter static IP address. Then press continue, netmask, continue. Default gateway, continue. Then the DNS, continue. Now we need to come up with the root password, then press continue, choose your time zone. And right here, I'm going to leave everything as default. I'm going to use entire disk. And right here, we need to choose our drive minus top one, 128 gig, and then continue. And that's it. Now we just have to wait until it's going to install Alien Vault on your computer. Once the installation finished, we need to get on our computer and we need to type this IP address in the address bar. This is the same IP address we set up earlier. Open your internet browser and type that IP address in your address bar. And in here, we need to click on advanced and then accept the risk and continue. Right here, we have to create administration account. And then press on start using Alien Vault. And in here, username is admin and then password, the one you just set it up. And right now we need to go through the wizard to get started. So just click on start, click next here. And in here we need to click on scan networks. We can add network IP address or use already that is providing. Put a check mark next to it and then click on scan now and then click accept. Once the scan is complete, we need to set schedule when to perform a scan. I'm going to leave it as default weekly and I'm going to press OK. And then I'm going to press next. Right here, if this is domain environment, we need to type domain credentials to install HIDS agent. And you can expand that and you can choose hosts right here. I'm just going to click next for now. 
and right here we can enable log management this is my switch on my network so i have to specify vendor and then what kind of model is that and then version and then click enable and then in here i'm going to click on skip this step and also i'm going to skip this step as well we can join otx later on and then click finish right here and then at this pop-up box i'm just going to press on explore alien vault awesome i'm going to uncheck this i'm not going to be sharing any data with them and i'm going to click on save so this is the main dashboard and right here like i told you earlier you can connect to otx later you can you'll just have to click on connect account and then right here you can see already some data this is sim categories this is host on my network logger event and then sim events by sensor then we can click on ticket right here there is not a whole lot but once it's going to start getting more information we'll be getting a lot more data than on security same thing right here as of right now it's only pulling data from three hosts it's going to be pulling a lot more once i'm going to leave it running for longer taxonomy tab and then vulnerabilities as of right now there is no data but once we're going to deploy hits it's going to start pulling some data then we can hop over dashboard and then click on deployment status as of right now there is no data because hits is not deployed but we'll have some and then open threat exchange same thing as of right now there is no data then we can navigate to analysis and then we can click on alarms right here when you scroll down if it's going to detect any alarms or attacks it's going to appear over here then you can click on group overview and this is just a group alarm if there is any then we can hop over and then click on security event right here it's already pulling data from alien vault and then real time it's pulling more data from real time and then raw logs this free version doesn't offer raw logs you have to actually pay for usm server to get raw logs and then tickets there is already one ticket generated i think it's just by default and then we can click on environment and then click on asset and groups and right here this is all of the assets it basically scanned every single ip address what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change this to show all 500 assets and then what i'm gonna do i'm gonna find my server so you'll have to scroll down and find specific ip address where you would like to deploy hits once you find that ip address what we need to do we need to put a check mark right next to it and then we need to go back up and in here under actions we need to click on this arrow down and we need to click on deploy hits agents and right here we need to type admin account of the host and then we need to click on deploy and it's going to start deploying once you deploy hits to all of your systems you can go to assets groups you can create groups for your assets and then network this is my network you can add more networks and then network groups if you have multiple networks and then you can set up schedule scan i left it by default it's weekly you can change it to something else then we can click on reports and then we can click on overview right here we can get all kinds of reports we can get alarm reports availability report business and compliance report geographic report sim report threat of vulnerability database ticket system ticket report ticket status user activity and vulnerability report and then we can go to configuration and then click on administration in here we have all the users we can add modify or delete users here and then when we go to main there's more data right here you can see all the backup idm tickets login method metrics osim framework password policy user activity vulnerability scanner and netflow and then we can click on backups and there's a backup manager then we can click on deployment and right here you can see your alien vault server and later on in the future if you would like to add more sensors 
you're going to be able to see them right here as well and then plugin builder and then locations then we'll go back here threat intelligence there's all kinds of different tabs and there is some knowledge based articles then we can go back to dashboard and click on overview and then choose executive tab and right here you can see that we are already getting more data and if we go back to environment assets and groups and in here if we choose our server again under actions we can choose run vulnerability scan and then we need to come up with a job name and then press save and now it's going to scan for vulnerabilities and then also a weekend that we can click on actions and then enable availability monitoring and then if we go back to the dashboard and overview executive and after a while you can see we're getting more data and then if we go back to environment and then assets and groups right here if we choose our server again and if we click on this little magnifying glass right here we are actually be able to see more data i found 16 vulnerabilities one alarm 2000 events so now right here what we can do we can click on vulnerability tab and you can see all the vulnerabilities that it's found then we can click on the learn tab and right here it's found brute force authentication then on events i found a lot of events as well software didn't found any software yet services i found four services that's running right now no plugins yet properties netflow and then groups then also right here if we click on see network activity we can see network activity of that specific server then we can go back to vulnerabilities and then in here you're going to be able to see all vulnerabilities that have found the net flow same thing network traffic then we can click on availability and right here we can click on host details and we can go through every single tab and actually get a lot more data and then detection agents and in here it's just going to show how many systems we have agents deployed to then system check and then agent and then agentless we have no agentless systems then we can edit rules and then config and then hit control then if we go back to dashboard and overview and then an executive you can see we're actually getting more data right now and then if we go back to analysis we can click on alarm and then scroll down and you can see right here what alien vault found you can click on it and it's gonna tell you from which host that alarm was triggered and this is it with alien vault you can monitor your network security basically this is ids and if you have bigger company with alien vault you're gonna be able to detect so much more than what i can show you in my home environment if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching